Hey guys, I'm going to shoot this quick intro for this video. Um, I'm going to do a review of Horizons, and I'm going to try to do every week doing Hi, one Daddy. review. Yay, he's here, yay! I'm going to do a review, hopefully every week, if not, try to do every other week, of one thing that we are using in our homeschool curriculum, um, whether it be second grade or preschool. So I'm going to review the the product or the curriculum and then I'm going to tell you how I use it in our homeschool uh, specifically what I use it for or how many days or you know go into more in depth of personally how we use it because I love watching reviews but I want to know like how that person actually uses it like if they do one lesson a week or one lesson each day or how they spread it out or what they do so I'm going to try to do this Maybe once a week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, I'm trying to make this lighting a little bit better. It's a really rainy, cloudy day, so I didn't want to have like an overhead light blaring down on this, so hopefully it looks fine. But um, the first thing I'm going to do is the horizons for this video. Um, we're, like I said, in second grade. Mead is in second grade. Um, I'm not in second grade, but we do horizons too. Um, we like it. You know, we started out, I'll show you a little bit. We started out doing one lesson a day. You know, and at the end of the video, I'll kind of zoom in and show you a little bit more because I don't think it'll, my camera won't focus if I zoom it in in video mode for some reason. It's one of the older cameras, but anyway, um, at the beginning we started just doing one lesson front and back a day. Which wasn't too bad because it was review, and um, but as we got further along in it, she got a little overwhelmed. So, and instead of every day, you know, dissolving into tears, I just decided to just back up a little bit and change up our math and how we're approaching it because she struggles a little bit and she struggled for with kindergarten and first grade you know I had to have a conference with her kindergarten teacher and she was like you know she doesn't know how to count to 10 and I was like she, I, she definitely knows how to count to 10 but for some reason and just in that setting just I don't know she just lost a lot of her skills so a we are just backtracking and you know in first grade she did a lot better but she still did math intervention and um, they wanted to put her in reading intervention as well but they we just decided not to because I was too much intervention so it's really nice being home and being able to go by her instead of going by what all the other kids in the class are doing so we have changed up we are not doing it one lesson a day instead I do one lesson a week and I do I split it up and I'm going to show you a little bit more of what I do but um, we love Horizons. It's really colorful. It's very nice to look at. And it's very easy to find your place. You know, she d isn't getting overwhelmed by the colors, but it's just enough to keep her interested. Um, they are, I'm trying to get to where we are today, and it's nice progression. And it's good that it constantly reviewing what you've already learned and adding that into it. And it's not just new material every week and for every lesson. There, I zoomed in a little bit. Show a little bit better. Um, so I like how it reviews itself and it continues that concept throughout the whole lesson. And you know, we're still, we're only on lesson what? 11, we just did 11 today. So, see all the colors, see how bright it is. But, um, you know, we're not that far into it and it's really pretty much review for me yet. But I want her to love to learn, like I said in a previous video, you know, my goal is for her to love to learn and to want to learn. So, you know, it's, mine's not making her the smartest person in math, but I want her to be very consistent. So I'm not pushing her to do things that she's not ready to do. I just want her to enjoy it. And math is definitely turned out last year. I mean, she hated it. She hated coming home. We hated, I mean, every night was tears for homework. But now that I've stepped back, and I'm letting her go at her own pace. She, the math is her favorite subject now. 
So she's really loving this, and I love her the horizons. You know, I thought about doing Matthew C, but one, we just didn't feel like spending that money right then and there. And horizons, we just got this for the first workbook for her horizons, and I also got the teacher's guide off eBay, so it was a lot cheaper. But um, also, was I heard that Matthew C wasn't as colorful, and I just wanted color to get her excited about it. So this is what we do, and you know, I. I use her daily notebook. We don't actually do anything in it, but um, I do have this little printable I made. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays is our Horizons Day. So on Tuesday, she does the first page of the lesson, and on Thursdays, she does the second page, the back of the lesson. So those are our two breakups. On Monday, Wednesdays, Friday, I pull like two math worksheets from the MoFat Girls September No Prep Packs. Well, September this week now. Now, next week it'll be October, but, um, and those are great, and I will show those in a different video, but that's how I break it up. So, uh, she's not just doing things out of the same workbook, and that way, she's really enjoying that and having the change of routine every day. She likes to have change. She's not one of those kids who likes to have the same thing every day. So, that's how we use our horizon. Just for a closer view, right now we're on a lesson 11 and we're working on place values. You know, we started out with some addition and we had to take a break for so we could do some flashcards because she was struggling a little bit and she still, we do flashcards every day and we're still getting, trying to get up to number 10. But um, we're getting there, but you know, by the end, we've kind of peaked at the end of the book. And this is the first workbook. You're supposed to do two workbooks in a year, I guess. But we'll probably take a whole year to get through this first workbook, which is fine. I'm not pushing her. She's fine. And, um, so, you know, this not, it's not too hard. And she can definitely do this, and, you know. And it gets into multiplication. So we will be getting into all that fun stuff. And there's our Horizons math. And this is our schedule. So Tuesdays, I just have it written in there, Math Horizons. And then on the other days, it's just math worksheets. And then Wednesdays, math worksheets. Tuesdays, horizons, and math worksheets. And, you know, worksheets doesn't mean that it's completely worksheets. You know, it could be a math game. So um, I was try trying to build up some of our math games and math living books a little bit to add it into these math worksheets.